Welcome to Calumbar Micro Introduction Series, Part 1. In this series, I will try to introduce you to Calumbar Micro and DVM UPF framework. Such framework uh, handles a lot of stuff for you, for example, like view model and view relationships, uh, bindings, uh, communication between your view models, and so on. So, this makes your project cleaner and uh, better to start. Calumper Micro is a very light framework, as suggested by its name, uh, but uh, it will handle almost everything you will need. So it's uh, very functional and, in my opinion, easy to learn. In the first part of this series, we will go over how to set up a new Calumper Micro project. Okay, so I have, uh, I have Visual Studio open, we go new, project. This is, by the way, 2019 Visual Studio, so project creation screen is a bit uh, changed. We go create a project, we select VPF app project template, click next. Okay, uh, we will call this Calibre Learn Micro Intro Part 1. And okay, great. So the first thing we will we need to do is install Calibre Micro Nugget package. We go manage Nugget packages, browse for Calibre and Micro, and uh, the package we need is in this one Calibre Micro. It has a lot of downloads. We click install. Okay. Okay, the package is installed. So. The first thing uh, that I need to mention is that Calibre Micro is view model first framework. That means uh, we specify the view model first, and the, the framework will resolve the view uh, uh, by itself. So, to start our project, uh, we need to remove this uh, main window. As you've seen, a standard VPF application uh, uses view first approach. <coughs> this line specifies that main view, main window um, uh, is the root uh, uh, view for this application. Uh, we will also remove this line. And we will add a bootstrapper class that will be responsible for starting up the application bootstrapper uh, this class will inherit from Calibre Micro class uh, yeah, this strapper base is in Calibre Micro namespace so we use it And, uh, and the basic implementation for this bootstrapper class you can find in Calibre Micro documentation. So I will just fill it up. In construction, we need to call initialize method. Uh, you can find all these methods in if you inspect uh, what is in this bootstrapper base class. Basically, it's initialize. And you have a lot of other methods. For now, it is important. Uh, the auth startup method we will override this Okay, so when the application starts, uh, it should call this on startup method, and we will display a view model called shell view model. We still don't have it, so I will create it. Is for now this we will leave just empty class. 
uh, this is play with u4 is a method from caliber micro framework it's in this with strapper base and what it will do is basically use a, a window manager class that is also in caliber micro and it will display this view uh, model as a root window for our application the next part is we need to specify that this bootstrapper needs to be uh, initialized uh, in application resources otherwise it will not be run so we will write uh, uh, this code resource dictionary Specify the bootstrapper. Bootstrapper. We uh, first need to build this uh, uh, application, otherwise, uh, it will not find the bootstrapper class that we just created. This one. So, for now, it seems everything is alright. When the application launches, it will try to create this bootstrapper class. When, the when it will be created, the constructor will be called, and we have this initialize method, and uh, this sets up all the things that uh, Caliber and Micro needs to start your application. And, to, and then Caliber and Micro will automatically call this on startup method, and what it will do is try to display shell view model. Let's try to run this application. As you see, the application actually started, but uh, it could not uh, find view for this shell view model. So we'll, we will create a view. <coughs> Caliburn uses a, a, a convention, basically it's an agreement how views and view models should be named for Caliburn Micro to be able to resolve the view for view model. Basically, we name the view model shell view model and we call the view shell view. So basically, this is name and conversion that view models needs to end uh, with view model and the uh, view needs to end with view but uh, the name needs to be the same actually we can overwrite this convention but in most cases we do not, do not need that so now uh, Alumber Micro will be able to find this view for shell view model or the shell view model that it's trying to display <coughs> As you see, it found the view, but it's empty, so let's add something to it, like a, a height 200, width 500, and let's add a text. We run the application again and we will see this view. Okay, that was the basic setup. In the next part, I will uh, set up a dependency injection container because uh, almost every application needs that. That's it. See you in part two.